When you are thinking about Motorhead, you are probably thinking about fast driving rock and roll with banging drums, electric guitars and so on and so forth, and not about acoustic blues with harp. But, however, that's what we're going to learn today. Whorehouse blues isn't really what you expect to hear from Motorhead, and that's why it's so awesome. Okay, let's have a listen. Andrew and welcome to the first fret lessons. Our goal is to help you become a guitarist people want to listen to. If this is your first time watching us, please subscribe, we really appreciate it. Today's lesson will be useful to both Motorhead and Blues fans. If you're just a fan of Motorhead, well, you're going to learn this awesome song. I'm going to walk you through each part, each chord, and if you enjoy playing blues, well, there are a lot of great ideas that you can take from this song. There are a million different riffs, variations, and if you learn this song, you will be able to use them when composing your own riffs or just, you know, jamming, improvising and having fun. And by the way, this song has a really epic acoustic guitar solo. I'm not going to break it down today, but if you're interested, let me know in the comments. If we see that you're interested, we'll gladly make another video. If you want to get five really useful lessons which are not available on YouTube, be sure to check the link in the description. And okay, let's go! Quick note, originally the song is played one half step down in E flat and not to annoy those of you who play in standard tuning, this lesson will also be in standard tuning. Let's start with the basic three chords that you're going to need here. They're really simple. A5, you know, you only need these two strings here. Open A, second fret on the D string. Then. D5, it's the same shape, just one string higher. And then E5, same shape, but one string lower. A5, D5, E5. Okay, first of all, let's go through the chord progression. It's basically a 12 bar blues, however, it starts not on our root chord, not on A, but on D. You know, sometimes it can happen in blues. This is how it goes. We got this riff going on an A chord, and then when we go into the verse, it's on D. So our first two bars are D chord. One, two, three. Well, we want on the wrong side of the track. Then we go to an A chord, two bars of A. Two bars of D on the gutter. Wrong side of the track A Two bars of E One, two, three, four One, two, three, four Back on A This is it And this pattern is repeated throughout the song If you're a total beginner That's what you can play Just turn on the song and One, two, three, four One more time D a fourth bar D on the fifth bar sixth bar seventh bar A eighth bar E ninth bar tenth eleven twelve Okay, here's your first step. You can play the whole song like this. Now let's move on to the main riff. What can you play on A? There are two guitars playing at the same time there. Phil Campbell and Mickey D, drummer, is playing the second one. And you know, they are playing basically the same riffs, but a little bit different. One guitar can play something like... And another... 
and it's hard to tell which one is playing what. However, I'll do my best. Uh, I'll show you what I figured out by listening to the song over and over again. So, the basic riff sounds like this. A chord, then third fret on A string, A chord two times again, then A chord and third fret on the G, A chord again, and third fret on the A, open, third fret on the E, open. And another thing to note, this song is played, you know, in eighth notes, not in shuffle groove. Not like this, just once you start, you basically never stop. And you can have fun with these two notes, you know, just... You can mix and match them however you want. It doesn't really matter. There are also two different ways you can finish it. Sometimes you got this lick. This lick here. What I'm doing? Sliding to 7th fret of D and G strings. Then 5th fret on D and G and back to the root note, 7th on D. Or just another way around, you know? this and the last thing you can do here it's kind of tricky but uh, sounds great also you're doing this bar with your pinky on the fifth fret we are playing you know the same riff but instead of bass notes we use fret with our pinky and open D and G and it goes like this once again you can play it however you want now let's move on to D chord We play this basic shuffle blues. Just D5 two times, then D6, fourth fret on the G string. Fifth fret on G and back to fourth. And back to A. One more time. You can use your pinky to play the fifth fret or it's kind of easier to do it this way to move all your fingers. You got more control this way, but. Uh, works fine just like that. There's not much going on on D, however I spotted a couple of things. First one is sometimes there's this fast hammer on going on here. Just It 
it's really easy to do. And one more thing is this lick. Hammer on on your A string on the third fret, A notes on the G string. It goes like this. Before you jump back to A. And now let's move on to E chord. And you play the same... The same bluesy shuffle button here that we played on D. However, there's one little thing that's going on here. This. This classic rock and roll, you know? The third and fourth frets on low E string. You can play them with hammer-ons or you can just play them with your pick. You know the music brought us out, babe. And you can do this thing here. Or you can just play the third fret by itself. And you can use this thing on D if you want. On A as well. If you don't know this trick, you should absolutely uh, learn it. It's blues and rock and roll classic. So, as you can see, the song is like a puzzle. You got all these different pieces, all these different riffs, these different tricks you can do, and you can mix them however you like. If you want, you can just play a whole song like this. You can these notes in any order you want. Sometimes you can just play nothing. Sometimes you can add heavy palm mute here, like this. Just make sure that your right hand moves consistently here. Like you start playing and you never stop. And so on and so forth. And one more thing. In the fifth verse where he's singing Yeah, we ain't never been good looking But we are satisfied. There's this random C chord there. Not something you expect in the blues song, but there you go. So you go from the main riff to D chord. But we are satisfied. Just strum C chord here twice and back to A chord. And one more time. You know we ever been good looking. But we are satisfied. We should have opened up a little whorehouse, honey. And as I said in the beginning, there's this epic solo going on there. Yeah, I should have practiced it a little bit, but yeah, if you want to learn it, let me know in the comments. I'll gladly show you how to play it. Okay, if you're trying to learn this song and it sounds a little bit off, be sure to check this video out. Perhaps you are making one of the five left-hand mistakes that really ruin your sound. And if you are doing just fine and you enjoy playing acoustic blues, check this video out. I'll show you how to play really nice legendary blues. See that my grave is kept clean. Alright, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Can we go now? Yep.